Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, so we are going to give Bill Bailey's Bulk and Blend a try. First choice leaf tobaccos matured and skillfully blended for the perfect smoke. Uh, manufactured by the Dan Tobacco Company. This is 50 grams, 1.75 ounces, made in Germany. Uh, I don't have a date. If anybody out there can tell me. Uh, there's just a serial number on the bottom, you know, on the back, back here, just 16230. Doesn't sound like a year or anything to me. It just sounds like a machine number. And there's nothing on this tin at all to indicate anything else. There's no other numbers besides that. And made in Germany. That's what it says in the, it just has the warning label. Um, that's it. So, let's, uh, Let's see what this is all about. Ooh, nice, nice hiss. Oh yeah, it has that uh, right off the bat, that smoky, smoky goodness that the captain likes. I prefer, I guess, this time of year, I guess, or what it doesn't. You know, I'm, I'm weird with my palate. You know, certain people, they only have their darker beers in the colder months. I can drink a stout or a porter anytime. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got that awesome, awesome smell. It's got, like, I guess, London. Uh, Gregory, the India, something to India, something London. So yeah, uh, and you see it's got this the compass thing here, and yeah, it's got your light and dark darks in there. I'm not gonna sit there. Pull out, uh, say what you got. You can probably look it up anywhere. Uh, rather, hmm, I'm surprised. This might be ready to go. No drying time. Rather dry. Hmm. A little bit of crunch there. I may have to rehydrate this. Well, first impressions. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else in the YTPC has had this blend before uh, it's a little bit too crunchy for me uh, let me know if you guys have had this before I've seen some reviews on it well yeah I think I did a watch one one review on it from a guy can't remember the name I'm not sub to him obviously but I just tried to see what this was all about before I opened it, but well, yeah, a little, a little too much crunch there for my liking. At least on the top, the sides feel kind of moist. Well, we shall see. I may have to rehydrate this. Wasn't there? There was another one I just did recently that I had to rehydrate. I'm not sure. Umbrella's about to take it away here. Pretty windy today. Yeah, let's give it a go. It's got that nice flavor there. Smokiness. But hey, it's already dried, ready to go. I don't have to wait for no dry time or anything. <laughs> but 
You know, I noticed some of these Vulcan blends in the tins from overseas, they do tend to be a little bit drier. I think Rat Rays, the accounting mixture, that was a little bit on the dry side, but not, not, not this crunchy. That sounded a little too crunchy like paper, man, so I may uh, do the uh, um, rehydration trick just to get a little bit more moist once I get it in a tin, uh, a jar. Now, it, you know, like I said, I like I like these smoky these smoky tobaccos, you know, every once in, now and again. I like that campfire smell, barbecue. And this is a first impression, so I'm not gonna probably go too much into it. As I normally do, I do my intro video like this, and then you know how I do it, and then. I'll let you know in a couple weeks how we're getting on with the blend. Surprising, huh? I'm not staying late. Taste is there. That smoky flavor. You know, it's always different how it is with the room note. If you smell somebody, I always say that, you know, if you smell somebody else smoking something, you're like, ooh, that smells good. But then when you smoke it, I guess because you're so much involved with the blend, it doesn't affect you, you know, the same way. First, and first time smoking Bill Bailey's Vulcan Blend. It's good. But like I said, it's on the high end, so I probably wouldn't, you know, I'll be buying this probably very, very rarely. I would, uh, you know, my range limit price point is uh, 10 bucks normally, so. And that's where Peterson is. And I've had their bulk and blend, and I had the, the, old, the old Dublin. And it's weird because they're interchangeable. I like them both. But this is reminding me of the Rat Race accounting mixture. Something about it. Maybe it's a more of a truer bulk and blend. I don't know. The whole background between these these the Vulcans and you know it's considered a Vulcan or whatever you know that. I just like the smoky flavor. You know, I want that in there. So this is good. Oh yeah. yeah nice beautiful blue skies. As you can see the cat has got the flannels back on. Yeah, it's feeling good. Fall is in the air. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to just sit back, contemplate this. I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah. No, I just started. But it'll be interesting to uh, see. further down the bowl what we're going to get, you know, will this smoky flavor dissipate or stay throughout the whole entire smoke, and some spiciness there, yeah, this, this is really good, I mean, besides being dry,
is uh, taste, uh, tasting and smelling really good. Um, on another note, my mirror is pretty much, I guess, done. It, it won't. I don't think it's going to color any any more in my lifetime. I mean, I smoke this every day, sometimes twice a day. Actually, I smoked some Peterson's Sherlock Holmes in it this morning, and now I'm trying this. I mean, it just. I mean, I wax it. You know, I, what I do is I take the the beeswax, like a chapstick type thing get it hot and just rub it all around here so it's rough right now because I, I just did it a couple days ago so it still has that rough tacky feel from the wax uh, but I mean it got really dark like this as you can see when I first started smoking and uh, it got really dark now this all, all this darkness as you see all this the skull itself was on the side no but when saying is that this was all dark like this and then I don't know through the smoking process it just started like weird it was like evaporating evaporating to where you could just see uh, a little bit so I don't know I mean maybe it's one of those mirrors that colors and that's it I mean I've smoked everything in this as you can see aromatics to everything and it just seems like it, it, you know, it does that spotty thing, like that type of white little spots when it's not hot and it's cool. See where you can see, I don't know if you can see that there. See how that that's the spottiness going on there in the, on the back here, but. Oh. Here's what it is, I guess. I don't want to keep you guys at it anymore. So we're going to, uh, just enjoy this and uh, bring you back in a couple weeks, whatever, you know. Just keep looking out for other videos. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, so you don't miss anything. And remember, me and the first mate always say, let's set sail.